I guess we could mention the fact that that ICC guy. So ICC guy, you know, was was arrested and yeah, and sent oh to yeah, jail right. As a part of this, and uh, somehow, despite the fact that he should have been, uh, he should have had a twenty year sentence. I mean, that's what he had. Um, but he somehow was out of jail, and and he uh, managed to get himself murdered in Providence in January, just a few months ago. Really? Uh, yeah. So that's another another little uh, loose end that's been tied up. Just before our podcast came out, <laughs> exactly. We yeah. were gonna we were gonna get an exclusive interview with. <laughs> I know. I, we had to sit down with him and everything. And I told him, "Don't use your cell phone. Just uh, send me letters." And he, you know, he did. <laughs> but yeah, and one of the things that's kind of interesting about this is that um, you know he was supposedly under supervised release for five years, and uh, you know I don't know how supervised it is if you're going to. He was caught at an illegal, you know, basically an after hour speakeasy in Providence. Uh, Rhode Island. Um, so, I, you know, I don't know how, how well supervised that, that is um, if you're able to get in that situation and get shot. I know it was probably not this situation, but whenever you hear like after our speakeasy now, I just think of like a mustachereed like cocktailery <laughs> and the idea of this guy like breaking his supervised release to go get like a bespoke Negroni is very funny to me. Yeah. Well, they had all these fake speakeasies in San Francisco a long time ago where it's like you just like I had to like make a reservation and then they charge you $50 to go to a bar. Yeah. Like, it was, <laughs> I don't know if it was. <laughs> <laughs>